We now know the identification of a burglar who was shot and killed by a homeowner in Center Point Thursday afternoon. Hello, I'm Jamie Langley and for Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. This evening, that man is identified as 22 year old Raheem Stubbs. Now, to this point, deputies have not located two men that they believe were involved in this incident as well. Meanwhile, residents are telling us they're shocked, including the man who actually lives next door. As WIAT 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle tells us, he had no idea that anything happened. I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, you know, I saw you, so I was just wondering what is going on, so I even didn't know about it. Mohammed Fezuddin didn't get home until 12.30 Thursday night, long after investigators left and most of the crime tape was gone. All that's left is boarded up windows where suspects broke in through the back of his neighbor's home. And I'm just, I'm just wondering, I mean, there are so many houses here, you know, why they have selected this house? That's a question many are wondering today. This jacket was thrown onto the front sidewalk. I'm told it belonged to 22-year-old Raheem Tubbs. He was shot and killed by the man whose 8-year-old son was home alone when Tubbs and two others allegedly broke in. So I, I know them very well, very well. We're good friends, barbecue, drink a couple of beers together, that type of thing. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified because of safety concerns told me, while it's unfortunate someone died, the homeowner was simply doing what he had to do. Justify. Justify. Any way that comes in your home, it's a violation. He don't know, just intruding. So what are you supposed to do? His family, his son, his daughter. He had a daughter also. His wife. Our cameras were rolling as the family was leaving the home Friday. We spoke with a grandmother who said the family is doing okay, but is very shaken up. Now, Stefan Dinkel spent a lot of time in the neighborhood. The general sentiment there, he tells us, is that the neighborhood is not that bad. Everyone seems to know each other. And there's a consensus that those responsible will be caught soon. We'll keep you updated elsewhere.